Head Jacks. I'm doing this video for you. Uh, it's cold out here, so. But I'm doing this for doing this for you, Jacks, because you asked me to do this video. So, here's what I got. Uh, I just recently picked up a GoPro Hero 3 Plus Silver Edition. Uh, I've been using another little camera to shoot my videos when I'm camping and other stuff. I was using a Panasonic Lumix uh, DMC SZ7, I think is the model number. I'll, I'll, I'll show you the picture of it and I'll note the picture in the video. But that's what I've been using to shoot video. But I decided to pick up something a little bit different. I've uh, been looking at the GoPros for a while, decided to go ahead and get one. So I picked up a GoPro Hero 3 Silver and I'm shooting this uh, in 1080p, uh, 30 frames a second, 1080p, had uh, HD video uh, in the medium uh, mode, not the wide mode, but medium. Uh, and I also picked up a little microphone. It's uh, made by Mo Movo. I think I'm, I'll note that that as well but I picked up this little lapel mic so I'm gonna give you a comparison that right now I'm using the the frame uh, case just the, the skeleton type frame not the plastic case at all it's just the frame that goes around the camera that's what I'm using right now and the audio you hear right now is off of the frame case uh, with the internal mic nothing else so I'm gonna turn it off here and swap and put the uh, lapel mic on let you hear what it sounds like uh, I'll be quiet for just a second. You can hear the ambient noise. There's some traffic here in the neighborhood, uh, but you can hear that. So this is what it sounds like with the built-in mic frame case. All right. Now I'm going to give you a shot of what it sounds like with the, the lapel mic I'm going to hook up. Okay, this is a comparison of what the audio sounds like with the Mobo uh, lapel mic attached to the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Silver. Uh, all right now I've got the lapel mic attached uh, right up there on the hiking pole. I'm holding my hiking pole camera attached to the, the top of it. Uh, and the lapel mic is actually attached here on the next to the camera, on the stri uh, strap next to the camera. So that'll give you an idea of how it picks up from distance. Uh, this is compared to what it sounded like without the mic attached with the internal mic. So now I'm going to reach up and move the lapel mic down here. Okay, so now, now I'm holding the lapel mic uh, here neck with my hand at the so it's closer to me. It's not attached to my body, but it is uh, closer to me because I'm holding it with my hand. So. Here's another comparison of how it sounds. And then one more comparison with it attached. Okay, this is how it sounds with it attached to me. I probably won't use it like this very often just because the cable is a little bit too short, but it's an option if you were walking around, you know, filming something. Uh, depending on the, the situation, you could be filming in a way that that it might work like this, but uh, for for walking and hiking with with it on your trekking pole like this, uh, having an attached tube is probably not going to be the most convenient way. But this is to give you a comparison of how it sounds uh, this way. So once again, this is the Movo lapel mic. Uh, I'll post some information of where I got it. I got it from Amazon. I'll put a little more information at the bottom of the video uh, of what this is. But so here you go, Jax. This is a comparison. Uh, of this mic that I picked up so hopefully that's helpful give you an idea of what it sounds like again it's a mic like uh, pretty lightweight I just dropped it and it swung away from me if you're wondering what that was but it's pretty lightweight and uh, we'll see how it works I was getting some popping noise on that video a minute ago that I did and I think it was because I had the cable hanging down on this mic. It was just swinging loose um, below the camera. So I bundled it up so it wouldn't do that. And I want to see if I'm getting any uh, of that same uh, popping noise uh, 
from the mic, so hopefully this will clear that up, but uh, I believe that's what the problem was. I'm moving the camera around pretty pretty much the same as I was before. I want to see if I still get that same, same popping noise, so hopefully you don't hear it this time. This is a comparison with the camera that I had been using, a little Panasonic, Panasonic Lumix uh, that I had been using. Uh, it's still a good camera, and I'll still probably use it uh, quite a bit. It's got a pretty decent mic, uh, but this is a comparison to what uh, I've been using to do videos with uh, compared to the new camera I got, the little GoPro Hero 3 Plus Silver. So here's a quick comparison of the audio and the video quality compared to the, the GoPro that I just picked up. So there you go.